Today I will review for you the 7 orange nature weapons. Please follow NDL and send a thousand times of happiness to your loved ones. Hello everyone, I'm NDL. The 7 orange nature weapons are Longbow of Nature Short Sword of Nature Lance of Nature Flora and Fauna Codex Naturalis Crossbow of Nature Staff of Nature Common features are all poisonous damage, which I think is suitable for the new class in Season 1, so I will review it. Currently, from what I remember, all of them are obtained by farming in the ruined Citadel map. Both boss and normal monsters, as well as opening chests, all have a chance to receive. First is the Longbow of Nature. Its basic attack deals poison damage. When fully charged, it will shoot two times around and pierce through nearby targets, causing poison damage. Next is the Short Sword of Nature. Its basic attack swings two slashes and includes poison damage. When fully charged, it swings one slash hitting all nearby targets and explodes when enemies are poisoned. Next is the Lance of Nature. Its normal attack stabs the spear towards enemies, causing poison damage and poisoning the enemies. When fully charged, it also attacks nearby targets and causes explosive effects, making the targets poisoned. Next is Flora and Fauna. Its normal attack swings two swords at the same time and causes poison damage. When fully charged, it also attacks nearby targets and causes explosive effects, making the targets poisoned with weaker explosion damage than Lance. Next is Codex Naturalis. Its normal attack creates a toxic sphere towards the target, causing poison damage and poisoning the enemies. When fully charged, it throws a toxic sphere, splitting into three pieces, spreading more poison and causing targets to explode when poisoned. Next is the Crossbow of Nature. Its normal attack shoots an arrow causing poison damage and has a chance to poison the target. When fully charged, it shoots multiple arrows in a circular pattern without explosion, with a chance to poison the targets. Finally, the Staff of Nature. Its normal attack creates a toxic sphere towards the target, causing poison damage and poisoning the enemies. When fully charged, it throws a toxic sphere, splitting into multiple pieces, spreading more poison and making the targets move slowly along with poisoning. Now let's talk about Fate Bound. These weapons all have two Fate Bound types that cannot be changed, Premium Bundle and Toxic Core. Regarding the Premium Bundle, it is mainly used to increase the character's basic stats. Toxic Core helps increase poison damage and poison resistance very effectively. It's just a pity that in S0, there is only one boss with poison, so it's not trendy. In S1, I think it will be trendy, that's my guess. Okay. After reading about the 7 orange nature weapons, which one do you like the most? Which orange weapon would you like to see in the next batch? Please leave a comment. Alright, today's video is done. Thank you for your enthusiastic support. Thank you. Goodbye.